Hello, and welcome to Software Architecture Monday. My name is Mark Richards. I'm a hands-on software architect and also the founder of developer2architect.com. In today's lesson, we'll take a look at microservices and a pattern called deferred data migration. To start with, know that data is the most important asset in the company. Companies can't exist without their data. And so when we start talking about breaking apart applications or breaking apart the monolith, we start to really focus mostly on functionality. And when we break apart functionality, we realize that if we make a mistake, we just simply restore. But when we start playing around with data and breaking apart data, we are literally playing with fire. Let me show you the issue. As we start migrating a monolithic application to microservices, of course we start moving functionality over to separately deployed units of software, microservices. Well, the other natural thing to do is also to move the corresponding data over to new schemas as well. These don't have to be separate physical databases. They could just re really be tables or group of tables uh, known as a schema. This right here is exactly where the problems start. Let me give you an example. And so if we were to talk about moving over to microservices here, and this is in production right now what you see, and we realize that service on the left-hand side uh, just is uh, not the right level of granularity and the fact that there's too much inner service communication. So those two left-hand services we combine and consolidate into one single service. Now this is called a service consolidation refactoring pattern and it's fairly straightforward and simple. However, while that is simple, now we have a second data migration. Now, once again, when we start moving data, I invalidate my backups and I have the chance of not being able to back out my changes if I've made a mistake. Similarly, we might see an opportunity where that service on the left-hand side is too coarse-grained. And we see an opportunity to split that up into two services. A service split pattern. A little bit more complex, but it's still fairly straightforward. But now I have a second data migration. You see, data, when we start migrating data, we're playing with the company's most important asset. We are playing with fire. And the key rule is this. You will rarely get the service granularity right the first time when you move to microservices, especially in production. So deferred data migration is a pattern that says this. First of all, migrate the functional portion of the service first into production. Learn about that service. And then over time, let the data portion of the bounded context of a service evolve over time. For example, this would be phase one. In production, we start moving functionality over and we've prepared the data to be moved, but we haven't pulled the trigger yet. Now, you might argue that we don't have a bounded context. That's absolutely true. But now we can learn about the environment, learn about those services. As a matter of fact, how long do I wait? Usually, I try to wait till major events, such as a month end or some sort of quarter end. You see, a lot of weird things happen with business applications towards month end or the end of a quarter or at the end of a year. And so once I'm satisfied, whoops, I'm not. You know what? That left-hand service needs to be split into two different services. That's a fairly straightforward refactoring effort that I can now put in production. Notice I haven't touched any data. Now I'm comfortable with that left-hand side. Now I pull the plug and refactor my data over to a new schema. This is what deferred data migration is about. It's about reducing the risk associated with migrating over to microservices. It's a wonderful book that references a lot of patterns of changing databases and refactoring databases. As a matter of fact, uh, it's a book by Scott Ambler and Pramod uh, Sadlej, and it's called um, Refactoring Databases, Evolutionary Database Design. And in my opinion, a book written way ahead of its time, because not, when that book was written, not a lot of folks were actually refactoring databases. But now, um, due to the microservices craze, um, most of us are. And so it contains a lot of wonderful patterns. I would highly recommend that book. 
All right, so for more information, you can go to Software Architecture Monday, where these lessons are housed. Um, also, you can check out where I'm coming to uh, certain events in certain cities uh, by going to upcomingevents.html. So this has been Software Architecture Monday, uh, Lesson 42, uh, Microservices Deferred Data Migration, reducing that risk when we migrate to make sure that we've got the granularity right before we actually pull the plug and migrate the data portion. So again, my name is Mark Richards. Uh, thank you so much for listening, and I'll, I'll, uh, I'll talk to you all next week on the next architecture lesson. Thank you.